That's a better one. Oh, you did get Oh, shit, Jono. Isn't it? Yeah, buddy. Good one? Yeah. Feels like it. Yeah. yeah. That's a big fish. You see him yet? No. No? Two pounder? Oh, no. No, he's just, he's got a big head, dude. That's a nice fish. What are you guys talking about? That's tiny. Tiny? Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Four pounds. Nah, I mean, it's a fucking size. nice fish. These are jerks. And we are back with a Saturday, November 7th, 2020 blackfish trip here on Long Island Sound. We're fishing a place called Southwest Reef today. I have gotten the boat, my buddy John, his brother James, our other buddy Joe. And uh, these guys I went out with last Sunday, as you saw in the last episode, big waves, didn't spend a lot of time out there, but uh, we decided to come out today. We have perfect conditions, 75 sunny, flat, calm seas, and we caught a lot of fish. Over here. Nice one, buddy. Yeah. Nice. All right. What's this, 15 pounds? Yeah, hold on. Maybe, maybe 16. That's a good one. See, James, you get compliments. Yeah, you know, it's weird. <clears throat> Here, have fun with that. There's a fish on it right now. Get ready. This is light as hell. James, you can use my jig rod if you want. Don't jig it. Just let it, let it sit on the bottom. James? Justin, my Stratic is rigged up with a jig. Let me use that much lighter it's, it's up there i want to give i want to give james something better in it look at this crab ball what is that dude <laughs> what do you Wait, got going on there crab ball a crab ball john skinner recommends crab balls oh my god <laughs> fucking crab balls i like the experiment it's gonna be a hot oh oh big? shit big one. Oh, I missed mine. Mine's not that big. It's a keeper, though. No. Nope. Is it? No. Nope. It's a keeper? I don't think so. No, I, don't I don't think, think so, so, John. Not a keeper. No. Nope. You're right. Yeah, don't fall off. What are you doing? I need a crab. Here, hold on. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> hey, what's up? You guys get them good? Oh, yeah. you go to work. <laughs> That's a keeper. You guys coming out tomorrow? You guys? Hey! Nice one. Good job. Put this the jig head down, huh? It sucks. No, it doesn't. Getting bit every fucking drop. Little fish. No, they're not. Watch. 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 I was getting, I was getting little fuckers. Little bait thieves like that. Like that one? <laughs> it's not a keeper. It's yours. I don't think so. No, it's a keeper. Oh, yeah. Little one. No, it's not. It's a little one. It's like a three pounder. Net. Net. Look at this guy. He's got a captain's got to net his own fish. That's that's eleven. That's awesome. Little a little one. Thanks, buddy. Joke, I have a break. Yeah, whatever you want. As you can see, we had an absolutely amazing day. Uh, we ended up catching a limit, which is three fish per person per day, minimum of 16 inches. And uh, we ended up calling back a lot of keepers just because we wanted to keep the bigger ones. Blackfish is an absolutely delicious fish. And uh, people ask me all the time uh, how I like to prepare them. So I figured in this episode, I'd show you my favorite way to cook them. It's absolutely delicious. So here's some of the ingredients you're going to need for this. 
uh, garlic salt, cayenne pepper, uh, salt, black pepper, paprika. One of the most important things is the Old Bay seasoning. That's a must. People put Old Bay seasoning on their Old Bay seasoning. And uh, also, um, going to need some beer. Preferably not Rolling Rock. Uh, this is, uh, you know, a beer that our buddy Joey, Joey left uh, last trip. Um, he brought Rolling Rock. Everybody was, uh, was razzing him for it, but it works. So here we have our cleaned blackfish fillets. We're going to start by uh, cutting out the ribs. Sometimes it depends on who's filleting them, but you always have some, some bones left in there, and it's just not very appetizing. So uh, we're going to cut up the uh, fillets into chunks. We call them nuggets, so the kids will eat them. They don't have to be the same size. Try to keep them roughly the same size, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, here you can see they're all, all pretty much... Uh, right around the same size. And uh, so we're gonna season them up with some salt. As you can see, try not to use, uh, kosher salt's good, uh, this Himalayan sea salt's good, I don't know what the difference is, but don't use table salt, that tastes funny. And some um, some black pepper, I like it. Uh, makes the fish taste good, uh, all this stuff. And then uh, also, I'm gonna put on some Old Bay seasoning. Um, you know, Put a, put a decent amount, however you like it to taste. I don't like going too too crazy on it just because it's salt after salt. There's a lot of salt in this, but it does taste good. And uh, after this has all been um, mixed together, there is a very special secret ingredient to all of this and um, makes it easy. And it's right here. Boom. Buttermilk pancake mix. Uh, just start, uh, pour, pour a little bit in the bowl. You really can't screw this up. Um, we'll season it with some pepper and a little bit more salt and some more Old Bay seasoning. It comes out awesome. And, uh, cayenne pepper, put a little bit of that in, depending on how much heat you want, and some paprika and some garlic salt, just a little bit. Don't get it too, too salty. And a little bit of sugar, which is kind of, uh, kind of nice. And then we add in our, uh, cheap beer. Thanks, Joey. Thanks for the beer, buddy. It'll work out just fine. And uh, we'll get a whisk and whisk this all together. Try not to make a huge mess. Um, but what you want is you don't want it too soupy, but you also don't want it too thick. You just want something kind of in the middle to where it will stick to the fish but not be not be real cakey. So we'll add in some more. I ran out of the butter, but the uh, buttermilk mix. So I'm just using the best quick I found. Um, and... Uh, just kind of whisk it around until it's smooth, and then uh, add a little bit more just until it gets that right uh, consistency to where it'll stick to the fish but not be runny. Um, and uh, that'll take you some time. Just kind of keep adding. If you need to add a little bit more liquid, if you go too far, just put in put in a little bit more beer, put in some water. That's fine. I like to stick with the beer just because I think it makes it more fluffy. Um, but that's up to you. Makes the coating nice. So here's the consistency. It's kind of the in-between. It'll stick to the thing, the uh, whisk. So in a pan, shallow pan, small pan, just add some, uh, this was vegetable oil. You can use whatever oil you like if you're health conscious. Just enough to kind of get the um, little flays to uh, float. I put the heat up on high to get it going. We'll throw our little nuggets in here into the batter. And... Uh, yeah, I just try to try to get them all, make sure they're not sticking together, and then uh, just kind of get the uh, the batter on them really good. Make sure everything's coated, and um, this will last in the fridge too, by the way, for a couple days. And you can see once the oil's hot, you get them in, let them uh, let them sizzle. If uh, if you put it in and it's not uh, sizzling in the oil, then oil's not hot enough. Uh, but you want to make sure you regulate it. We're not big into fried food in our family, but this is where we make the, uh, the uh, you know, we'll splurge and, and have it. But anyway, once they start to uh, get hot, we'll flip them around. I'll just keep moving them around and then uh, eventually just turn them over and over until you uh, get them where you like them. 
usually I have the heat, uh, I drop it down to medium, um, and uh, but it usually takes around five minutes, six minutes maybe, depending on how much you like them done. Then I'll put them, take them out of the oil, put them on a towel, try to get some of the grease off. Um, I don't like anything too, too greasy. Uh, and it's really important too, as soon as you get them out of the oil while they're still hot, make sure you put some seasoning on them. The salt will stick just a little bit on the outside. Pull yourself a glass of beer, and uh, this is what it should look like. You know, they're delicious. Um, it's nice and crispy. It's crunchy. Kids love it. And adults love it, too. Everybody loves it. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Our channel's growing. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.